Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Aquino Thomas. I am a sergeant here at the uh, San Bernardino Police Department assigned to our Community Affairs uh, Division. Um, I would like to start off by thanking everyone for being here today. And I would like to formally welcome you all to the San Bernardino Police Department. Uh, the purpose of today's press conference is to share with you the results of Operation Westside Jenga, which is a collaborative wiretap investigation targeting the Westside Verdugo criminal street gang. At this time, the San Bernardino Police Department Interim Chief Dave Green will make a statement, followed by Attorney General of the State of California, Bonta, and followed by San Bernardino County District Attorney uh, Jason Anderson. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Chief David Green. Thank you, Aquino. Good afternoon, everyone. Early this year, the San Bernardino Police Department, working in concert with the California Department of Justice and California Highway Patrol, conducted a series of short-term firearms investigations targeting members of the San Bernardino-based Westside Verdugo criminal street gang. As the cases were analyzed in greater detail, investigators discovered that the trafficking and distribution of these weapons was merely one tentacle of a larger and broader criminal conspiracy that also involved the distribution of illegal narcotics and operation of illegal gambling facilities, or so-called net cafes. By June of this year, our three agencies partnered with the San Bernardino County District Attorney's Office to broaden the investigation and dismantle the identified criminal network. During the investigation, law enforcement gathered actionable intelligence through electronic and physical surveillance, which was shared in real time with uniformed patrol officers and specialized units. One of the primary goals of the investigation was to disrupt the gang and diminish the flow of money to its prison-based Mexican Mafia affiliates. Based on intercepted communications, law enforcement identified and recorded multiple criminal conspiracies to include the organized carjackings of Amazon delivery vehicles and numerous felony assaults. The information and evidence gathered during this investigation has been presented to the district attorney's office, which in turn has prepared numerous criminal filings. Yesterday, beginning at 5 a.m., members of the lead agencies, supported by several other agencies, served 34 search warrants, 46 arrest warrants, conducted 30 probation and parole searches, and conducted cell searches of three prison gang members. Charges stemming from this investigation include firearms, possession, and distribution, traf narcotics trafficking, carjacking, and various gang-related conspiracies. In its entirety, this investigation has resulted in 180 total felony arrests, the closure of 30 illegal gambling facilities, the seizure of over 100 gambling devices, 111 firearms, 19 of which are assault weapons, and 36 of which are unserialized ghost guns, 130 pounds of methamphetamine, 260 pounds of marijuana, and $295,000 in, in currency. Before I step aside, I want to thank our partners that made this investigation possible. Uh, particularly, I'd like to thank A.G. Bonta, District Attorney Jason Anderson, San Bernardino, I'm sorry, Santa Ana PD Commander Jose Gonzalez, San Bernardino County Probation uh, Deputy Chief Kim Epps, and DOJ Bureau of Investigation Director Stephen Woolery. I'd also like to acknowledge some support from other agencies that are not necessarily present here today, but those include the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, and the California Department of Corrections. With that, I'll turn it over to the Attorney General, Rob Bonta. Good afternoon. Thank you, Chief Green, for uh, your comments and for that introduction. I want to uh, also thank you and uh, your officers uh, for everything that you do day in and day out to keep our community safe. So thank you to our brave men and women. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. As, as the chief just made clear in his remarks, the uh, people of San Bernardino can go to bed tonight knowing that their communities are safer because of this joint and collaborative effort. 
I want to thank everyone who was involved in this operation. The Chief mentioned many of our partners already, and I want to re reiterate what he said, um, because it's so important that we work together, that we collaborate, uh, that we cooperate, that we join forces, that we share intelligence and surveillance to do what we all know is fundamental, what is foundational, that is to keep our neighborhoods and our communities safe. So let me say thank you to the men and women of the San Bernardino Police and Sheriff's Departments. Thank you to the California Highway Patrol Inland Division and their chief, Daniel Miner. Thank you to the Santa Ana Police Department and Acting Chief Robert Rodriguez, the San Bernardino County Probation Department and Deputy Chief Probation Officer Kim Epps and San Bernardino District Attorney Jason Anderson and his team at the District Attorney's Office. I also want to specifically express my gratitude to members of my team at the Department of Justice within our Division of Law Enforcement, including the Division's Chief, John Marsh, our Bureau of Investigations Director, Stephen Woolery, who is here behind me, um, standing with us, Special Agent in Charge, Joseph Sumanek, who is here today as well, and Special Agent Supervisor, Sam Aguilar, who is also here. I would also like to acknowledge and thank uh, every law enforcement officer, hundreds of them who participated in this operation. Most of these folks aren't here today because they're back in the field doing what they do every day, doing what they do best, keeping us safe. We wouldn't be able to stand here and make this announcement if it wasn't for them, and I have a lot of gratitude as well for the special operations unit who made today's arrests and seizures possible. The special operations unit, in my view, is a bright example of what can be done when we work together. It's a collaborative investigative team uh, between the California Department of Justice and the California Highway Patrol. The unit provides statewide enforcement for combating violent career offenders, gangs, and organized crime groups along with intrastate drug traffickers. Since the San Bernardino Police Department's request for assistance in June, our teams have been hard at work investigating the West Side Verdugo criminal street gang. And we stand united here today to announce the important results this investigation has delivered for the people of San Bernardino. Working as a team, we executed search and arrest warrants at numerous sites. Over the course of this investigation, we seized over 110 firearms, including 19 assault weapons and 92 handguns. We seized hundreds of pounds of methamphetamine, cocaine, heroin, and fentanyl that are no longer on the street. We arrested 180 individuals suspected of multiple violent crimes, including assault, attempted murder, and murder. We also shut down 30 illegal gambling facilities and seized over 100 illegal gambling machines and devices that bankrolled, that fueled the street gang's illegal activities. These illegal gaming establishments brought in tens of thousands of dollars a week for the gang and were linked to serious crimes, including five murders in 2021 alone. Additionally, throughout this investigation, numerous violent crimes were prevented, were intercepted, including shootings and armed robberies. And evidence collected during the investigation also assisted in solving two homicides in the area. So this operation is proof. It's proof of what's possible when we work together to deliver results for the communities that we serve. Uh, we're putting serious criminals behind bars with today's efforts, and I'm proud of these results as Attorney General, but I'm also proud as a father to three kids. Every child in California deserves to grow up in a safe neighborhood, a neighborhood that is uh, free from violence, a neighborhood without gun violence, a neighborhood without crime. So every walk to school uh, and every walk back home is a safe one. That includes uh, the children of those that we arrested today. We must do all we can to support these kids and their communities to build trust between their neighborhoods and law enforcement and continue to make efforts to stop cycles of crime from perpetuating. Every person up here has a family. I love my family dearly. I know they do too. Everyone in this room, it's the same. Uh, this work is personal for all of us. And for each of us here today, there is no job more important than ensuring public safety. It's job number one. Again, it's foundational. Uh, each of us swore an oath to defend the people of this state. And uh, as is on full display today, our teams have fulfilled that oath. I would again like to thank the brave men and the brave women 
who put their lives on the line to protect others, and who made these arrests possible. Today, we're sending a strong message that if you commit crime in California, you will be held accountable. With that, let me turn it over to San Bernardino District Attorney Jason Anderson. Thank you, Attorney General Bonta. I appreciate your presence being here today and collaborating with us, uh, with your personnel from DOJ. We appreciate that relationship. Uh, Chief, I want to particularly thank you also. Uh, as I look around the room, I see a lot of familiar faces because of the wonderful local partnerships that we have between our office and uh, the men and women in your department. And I want to make note that particularly in this year to be able to produce what we see over here to the right uh, when your agency uh, has um, been uh, in, in, in some instances, even your personnel attacked on the street. Uh, several officers shot this year, uh, and uh, uh, fortunately, uh, they will all recover. Um, obviously, operations like this are what prevent that from happening in the future. Um, we are always happy to collaborate with our partners all over the state, the other agencies that are represented here. Um, just a couple of the numbers that I want to be able to give to you. Uh, currently, as of today, as a result of these investigations, we have uh, filed charges on 45 defendants. Uh, six of those defendants potentially are looking at a third strike disposition in terms of their sentence. Fifty-seven uh, uh, firearm enhancements were filed uh, and um, 41 gang enhancements uh, were filed uh, in those cases. And so you can see uh, the importance of these collaborative efforts and what it means to file these serious and uh, violent charges on these individuals who are committing these crimes in our street. And I want to be very clear. Uh, that uh, we are uh, very well equipped uh, and have wonderful people in our office uh, that uh, can prosecute these cases, and our role is twofold in this particular instance. Number one is we are going to punish these individuals as severely as we possibly can, and number two, we're going to separate them from otherwise law-abiding community for as long as we can. And we can do that because of the efforts that are on display here, uh, what the Attorney General has discussed, what the Chief has discussed, what the other agencies uh, have also been involved in, but it's also the result of being able to uh, use strike enhancements, gang enhancements, and weapon enhancements uh, when they're needed most. And as you can see to my right, uh, this is certainly an instance in which they're needed most. Uh, and so I'm committing to the individuals of this community uh, that we will see this through. Uh, and in terms of the uh, kudos that I have received just this morning from members here uh, speaking on our office, uh, kudos goes to my colleagues within the office that will handle these cases, and it's our honor and our pri privilege to do so. Uh, Chief, appreciate the opportunity. Attorney General, appreciate the opportunity. Thank you very much. Uh, this concludes the formal comments. At this time, I would actually like to open it up for questions.